Hi, my name is Callie Chappelle and I'm a PhD student in the Fukami lab at Sanford University. Now, we are a community ecology lab, but a big question in community ecology is not only how do we describe communities, but how do we predict community structure and function? And a big open question in community ecology is, well, how does the history of a community influence its state that we see today? And it's a really hard question, because although we are biologists, we are not time travelers. So our lab, or some members of our lab, approach this question of historical contingency of communities by by looking at a very simple natural microcosm, that of nectar yeast. It turns out that yeast actually live inside of flowers nectar, but a very few species. And so we can use this natural microcosm in order to better understand the role that history plays, and specifically priority effects, or the order in which species arrive at an environment. Um, and how that influences the end state of a community. So we can better understand how history impacts the communities that we see today. So it turns out that when flowers are closed, they're actually sterile. And when they open, then yeast can become inoculated into flowers by passing pollinators, such as hummingbirds or bees. And so we can track the order of immigration into a single flower, the order of immigration of yeast into a single flower. And we can use that in order to understand how that order impacts the end diversity or the end state of that community. We can also test this in the lab by actually creating fake microcosms inside of a PCR tubes and inoculate those ourselves and understand how the community changes. So we liked this research to help us better understand how our history influences present state of community diversity and composition.